Hello, this is Dennis Gack of the National Brotherhood of Fathers' Rights. One of the questions that uh, very frequently comes up is, can you represent yourself in court? You absolutely can. When you represent yourself, you're called a pro se, and this is a Latin term for meaning for oneself. Uh, for purposes uh, of our conversation, it means representing yourself in court without a lawyer. You must educate yourself when representing yourself pro se, and there are a number of important steps you should keep in mind. First of all, is it legal? Generally, lawyers and judges do not like it when fathers go pro se and sometimes lie about it, even threateningly telling you that it's against the law to go pro se, you can't do it. Uh, next time you come back on the court, you must have a lawyer, or I'll throw you in jail, all kinds of nonsense. Don't fall for it. You know, you can represent yourself in court. It's your constitutional right. Um, are you at a disadvantage or an advantage? Uh, very often people think they're at a disadvantage without a lawyer. Uh, the fact is, is that no lawyer can know the facts of your client's, uh, of their client's case like you do, uh, like you know your own case. You're the expert in your case. Don't let any, anyone tell you otherwise. Um, getting on the judge's good side. Often an attorney is caught up in pleasing the judge and uh, he needs to look good to the judge. He needs to play the game in the local courthouse because he's there constantly with all kinds of clients. When you represent yourself pro se, it's a tremendous advantage. You don't have to please anybody. You don't have to play the game. You can represent the facts and ask for what you want. Um, another question that comes up under this heading is, uh, do I need to know all the rules just like an attorney? Uh, even though you're not a lawyer, judges expect you to know and follow court rules. If you miss a deadline, use the wrong kind of paper, violate some other kind of rule, you usually suffer the consequences even though you're a pro se litigant. However, you should be aware that the federal constitution, not federal constitution I should say, but federal case law dictates that a judge is actually supposed to look out for your uh, rights and protect your rights if you're a pro se and they're not supposed to hold you to the same legal standard as an attorney. But uh, what happens in family court is a whole different story. If you represent yourself, will you be prejudicially treated? Uh, you could be if you're not prepared. The bottom line is, is the better prepared you are, the better you will be treated by the court. This is not to say you won't be treated prejudicially. It's just saying that if you uh, want to gain the respect of the court and play their game in their ball yard, you've got to be prepared. So you won't be treated prejudicially if uh, it looks and smells and feels exactly what they're used to seeing. Uh, is it expensive uh, representing yourself? First of all, you're going to save a tremendous amount of money going pro se. You're going to do your own legwork. You're going to file your own papers. You're going to do your own paperwork. All you've got to do is uh, uh, you know, find out uh, what to do, and uh, the Father's Rights Protection System will do that for you. Um, can you still use a lawyer if you're pro se? The question comes up all the time. Uh, the fact of the matter is you can represent yourself at the same time you have an attorney represent you. It's called co-counsel. And you can have an attorney just do the mouthpiece type of work, go to court with you, represent you in court, but you can do the legwork, you can do the paperwork, the filing, all uh, the legal grunt work, so to speak, and save yourself a ton of legal fees. My system shows you how to do that um, and uh, takes you through every phase of it. Uh, can you hire a lawyer and still represent yourself? I believe I just covered that to a certain degree, but uh, the bottom line is when you're, when you're looking for an attorney locally, you want to make certain that um, he realizes or she realizes that you're going to represent yourself as well, that you're going to be an integral part of the case, that you're going to do some of your own paperwork, that you're going to direct traffic, so to speak. When you're co-counsel, the court system and the other side, the opposing side, has to uh, uh, legally notify you as well as you, uh, you know, being involved in the case. They have to notify you as well as your attorney, is what I was about to say. Are there advantages? In uh, being involved at every stage of the case pro se, there certainly can be. If you're working co-counsel, you can play good cop, bad cop, so to speak. In this manner, at various stages, private negotiations could be more effective. Sometimes you can blame things on your attorney while you're trying to play the good guy with your ex. Uh, just depends. So there's certain advantages of having a, a co-counsel situation. The bottom line here is you can represent yourself, but you've got to educate yourself. Uh, you've got to bring yourself up to speed. You've got to know court rules. It's not complicated. It's a little bit of studying. One of the purposes of the National Brotherhood of Fathers' Rights in teach, is teaching guys how to go pro se. We teach you exactly what you need to know for your case. We're not trying to make you an attorney, but you, you, you do have to know some basic things.
Now, what are the basics in representing yourself and starting a family law action without an attorney? You can start any legal action yourself without an attorney, regardless of what anyone tells you, like I said before, including a petition for custody, a complaint for modification of a divorce decree, a motion for order to show cause for contempt, uh, an enforcement of visitation, or any other civil action, including a tort claim against your ex-wife. Assuming that you have a claim or complaint against someone else and have not been able to find a diligent, competent, honest lawyer you can afford and who's willing to file such a suit for you, you'll have to write up the, uh, the, the action yourself and file it in court. In most states, family courts have forms, which you can Google online, and you can use these forms uh, uh, you know, to basically outline your case. With a little care and preparation, and along with the Father's Rights Protection System, you can usually find the forms that you need. The Father's Rights Protection System is unique, though, uh, because you can go online to Google and find the forms that you need for free from your state. For instance, go on the Google, type in Washington court forms or Florida court forms, and you're going to see court forms come up for different family law actions or tort claim suits and such. But the interesting thing about the protection system is that the exact language that you need to put into the body of those forms is there. So you can look up the forms online, but those are just skeletons. Uh, so starting an action, you need to not only find the forms and the format that you need, but you also need to find the guts or the ingredients to go into that, and the Father's Rights Protection System does that. Uh, you know, many procedures require different kinds of forms. Uh, the CD-ROM that's included in the Father's Rights Protection System has those available as well. It's important to note that much of the information that's contained in one section of my book is uh, also applies to other sections of the book. So read through the whole thing, uh, Google online, find out as much information as you can. Uh, one piece of advice uh, or recommendations that other guys, uh, based on what other guys have gone through, is the fact that you know when you go to court, don't pay too much attention to clerks. Uh, ask them for directions, where you file things, things like that. But very often, they're either giving you disinformation or they don't really know what to do. So uh, you can get a certain amount of information from these people. You don't want to irritate them. You want to work with them. But in the same token, take everything they say with a grain. Again, this is Dennis Gack with the National Brotherhood of Fathers' Rights. Uh, you can get a hold of me by calling 206-650-0250 or go to www.fathershelphotline.com to order the Father's Rights Protection System.